Item Number SCP-6872 Object Class Thaumiel Level 5-6872 Classified Special Containment Procedures SCP-6872 is to be activated only as a preventative last resort for a global K-Class scenario. Activation of SCP-6872 requires the express authorization of the majority of O5 Council members. Non-O5 Council personnel attempting to access information relating to SCP-6872's mechanisms or activation requirements are to be terminated immediately, regardless of clearance level. Update, September 15th, 2022. Foundation personnel are to report shortness of breath, tingling sensations, and phantom pain to the nearest Foundation clinics for amnestic and medical treatment. Feelings of insects crawling along the body are to be disregarded. Description SCP-6872 designates a Foundation-made mimetic trigger embedded into the cerebellum of every human being worldwide. Following its proper activation, SCP-6872 allows for the simultaneous transmission of a concept, memeplex, or thaumaturgic spell to every member of the Homo sapiens species. SCP-6872 is a final failsafe that allows the Foundation to exact a number of measures meant to prevent or shield humanity in the event of an irreversible K-Class scenario. SCP-6872's activation rituals were established in case of an event that would require any of the following for the continuation of the human race. Drastic and immediate alteration of mankind's physical and or mental form. Simultaneous transmission of an idea, message, or protective spell to every human being worldwide. Gaining temporary control over all of humanity and all of its actions. Temporary incapacitation of all of Earth's population. The termination of the human race. Discovery SCP-6872 is theorized to have existed inside of humanity ever since its initial creation. See SCP-2000 for details. Site-1's Deep Well archives include an undated proposal from the Administrator for the modification of the human genome to include SCP-6872. What exactly would lead to the approval of such an action in the first place remains unknown. Addendum 6872-1 Abridged List of Planned SCP-6872 Contingencies to ensure the quickest possible usage of SCP-6872 should its activation become necessary, Overwatch Command has prepared a series of highly complex contingent SCP-6872 related protocols that could be, if need arise, activated as soon as possible. Below attached is their abridged list. Contingency Number 2819-Z3 Description Entirely remove the Homo sapiens' need for food, water, and oxygen intake in the case of a GH-class dead greenhouse scenario, rendering Earth incapable of providing the aforementioned resources. Further comments. Unimplemented. Note that 2819-Z3 should not be treated as a permanent solution, and that, following the return of Earth into a standard state, it should be reverted as quickly as possible. 635 lines omitted for brevity. Contingency number 3936Z3. Description Restructure the physical form of mankind from one that would perish under the ongoing circumstances to a resilient one, effectively triggering a controlled LK class species transmutation scenario until the situation can be put under control. Further comments Implementation debated. 189 lines omitted for brevity. Contingency number 6217G6. Description In case of an emergent CC class collapse of chemistry scenario, restructure the base of the human DNA to no longer include and rely on the carbon element, effectively allowing for life to continue as normal. Further comments Pending re evaluation. As per the official request of Chemistry Department personnel, Contingency 6217G6 activation protocols are pending an update to ensure its activation would remain safe. Contingency Number 3125B7 Description 
immediate painless termination of the entirety of humanity to ensure SCP-3125's incarnation in baseline reality, and by extension the entire observable human memepletic multiverse does not succeed were it to collide with our world in an irreversible capacity. As SCP-3125 requires sapient hosts to incarnate and is otherwise a threat that is incapable of being fought against in any way, this would effectively ensure its permanent neutralization. Further comments. Unimplemented. Project explicitly overridden by Anti-Memetics Division Director Bart Hughes and deemed the wrong way to combat SCP-3125's threat. 291 lines omitted for brevity. Contingency number 9123I1 Description In the place of the now non-existent human consciousness in the case of an MK-class end of human consciousness scenario, rebuild a memeplex construct that is nearly identical to the aforementioned consciousness and input it into the human new spheric signature, ensuring the proper continuation of humanity's awareness. Further comments Unimplemented Heavily debated alongside a previous controlled destruction of human consciousness as a more humane and efficient temporary replacement for Contingency 3125B7 should the need for its activation arise. 901 lines omitted for brevity. Contingency number 0213A3 Description Transport the entirety of the human consciousness into an artificially recreated Earth hosted inside Site-119's supercomputer server system. This would result in an effective, full, and near-permanent separation from baseline reality and the stimulus it would normally host, including hunger, thirst, and death. Replacing them with their digitalized versions should either prove no longer appropriate for the human race. Further comments. Implemented. Contingency number 0213A3. Description. Update September 12, 2021. SCP-6872 Contingency 0213A3 implemented on a limited scale in order to combat emergent Omega K class scenario. 05-4 chosen as the primary overseer project lead, Ryza Headquarters Site-7 successfully transplanted to simulated reality. Update, May 20th, 2024. Contingency 0213A3 expanded to cover Foundation Sites 15, 17, 19, 43, 55, 64, 87, and 120. Overall Foundation personnel integration estimated to be around 15%. Update, April 19th, 2027. Contingency 0213A3 expanded to cover Foundation Sites 14, 41, 45, 54, 184, 246, 300, 322, and 666. Overall Foundation personnel integration estimated to be around 60%. Overall Human Population Integration Initiated Update, August 23, 2028 Minor Simulacrum Server Error Detected Determined to be caused by insufficient thomic cooling input via the ritualistic engines present in Site-119's basements. Power restored 2 minutes following incident. Operation resumed as normal. Update, December 2, 2040 Contingency 0213A3 expanded to cover all remaining Foundation sites with the exception of Overwatch Command. Overall Foundation personnel integration completed with the exception of the O5 Council and Site-119 personnel. Overall human population integration estimated to be around 15%. Simulacrum servers expanded five times in size to ensure proper and believable simulation activation. Update, August 23rd, 2064. Simulacrum servers experience an inexplicable error cascade, terminating in a 10-minute freeze of its operation, cause determined to be insufficient memory capacity. Server hard drives ontokinetically enlarge to ensure proper fourth-dimensional stability and to properly encapsulate the large new numbers of users estimated within the next few years. Operation resumed soon after the appropriate repairs were made. Overall human population integration estimated to be around 45%.
Update, November 20th, 2087. Contingency 0213A3 expanded to cover all remaining major population centers as well as large portions of smaller establishments. Overall human population integration estimated to be around 80%. Preparations to properly activate simulated death inside of Simulacrum begins. Update, January 18th, 2099. Artificial death achieved inside of simulation via the usage of full stimuli blocking protocols paired with the transportation of the simulated body to the void beyond the main map of the Earth. Overall human population integration estimated to be around 95%. Update, January 15th, 2101. Simulacrum experiences a major series of errors throughout most of its systems, terminating in a two-hour freeze of its operation. Simulated death stops operation for two weeks. Cause determined to be an insufficient amount of Akiva pumps exhausting humanity's input into appropriate waste management methods, resulting in major destabilization of the belief of the concept of death. Site 119 director Ashton Norva and Simulacrum lead Sammy Radcliffe lost during repairs. Technical lead Davis Rosen promoted to site and project director by order of 05 4. Operation reactivated. Update August 9th, 2104. Last minute checks for Simulacrum operation before the full integration of human race. No existing errors located. Operation greenlit. Update, July 29th, 2130. Overall human population integration fully completed. Only Overwatch Command remains outside of the simulation. Preparations to integrate it into Simulacrum ongoing. 05-4 remains outside of simulation, monitoring its operation in the primary control room. Update, June 12th, 2278. Simulacrum suffers near collapse as its servers are unable to withstand the amount of processing power necessary to simulate the death of so many individuals. Contingencies that ensure its server's automatic growth via anomalous means without outside intervention put into place via the order of 05-4. For three minutes during the error cascade, outside stimuli are felt by simulation occupants. Global amnestic protocols activated. No signs of incident ensue. Simulacrum resumes operation. Update, April 19th, 2290. Simulacrum growth contingencies fully operational. 2% of Earth is now encapsulated by Site-119. Overwatch command mitigation complete in 99%. Only the O5 Council remains outside of simulated reality. Update, July 12th, 2299. Unexpected error occurs as part of Site-119, which now takes up 5% of the Earth, meets the planet's ocean, allowing for 5 minutes of outside stimuli inside of Simulacrum. Automatic repair drones take care of the issue 20 seconds after its occurrence. Operation ensues. 05-1, 6, 7, 9, 11, 12, and 13 all enter the simulation, personally overseen by 05-4. To ensure his further objective judgment, control of Simulacrum has now been mitigated and isolated to the inside of Overwatch Command, wherein 05-4 remains entirely quarantined from the rest of the site. Any further duties that consist of anything other than monitoring Simulacrum have been mitigated to remaining 05 level personnel. Update, October 5th, 2301. Unexpected error occurs as part of Site-119, which now takes up 20% of the Earth, gets overtaken by wildlife growth, allowing for 30 minutes of outside stimuli inside of Simulacrum. Automatic repair drones take care of the issue two minutes after its occurrence. Further elimination of excess insects and animals in progress. Operation ensues. 05-2, 3, 5, 8, and 10 all enter the simulation. 05-4 remains, sealed inside the previously mentioned chamber to ensure appropriate preparations are completed. Update, July 2nd, 2315. 
Unexpected error occurs as part of Site 119, which now takes up 56% of the Earth, succumbs to violent locust attacks, caused by its infrastructure overgrowing with the species' primary food source, allowing for two hours of outside stimuli inside of Simulacrum. 05-4 controlled repair drones take care of the issue three hours after its occurrence. Operation ensues. Update, May 7th, 2322. Unexpected error occurs as part of Site 119, which now takes up 80% of the Earth, succumbs to a rapidly spreading wildfire, caused by the global sprawl of flora, allowing for one day of outside stimuli inside of Simulacrum. Automatic repair drones resolve the issue six weeks after its occurrence, but destroy 16% of available hardware resources during the process. 05-4 completes all preliminary prerequisites for automated simulacrum function and submits a request to enter the simulation. Update, December 9th, 2416. Unexpected error occurs as part of Site 119, which now takes up 100% of the Earth, begins overflowing from a sudden abundance of living animal carcasses caused by the rapidly spreading locust population, allowing for one week of outside stimuli inside of Simulacrum. Repair drones rendered inoperable. 05-4 controlled repair drones rendered inoperable. 05-4's previous request for entry inside Simulacrum is denied by the 05 Council. Global amnestization inside of simulation occurs. Operation ensues. Update, February 2nd, 2417. Global amnestization inside of simulation approved. Operation ensues. Update, August 6, 2417. Unexplained simulacrum error occurs. No attempt to locate its cause is made. O5 level personnel voice disapproval. No response from O5-4 detected. Weekly global amnestization of simulacrum population approved by O5-4. Operation ensues. Update, September 20th, 2417. Unexplained simulacrum error occurs. All members of the simulation, even O5 level personnel, are now explicitly forbidden from communicating outside of simulacrum. Daily and targeted global amnestization, especially regarding any topics of the existence of the real world, is approved by O5-4. Operation ensues. Update, November 15th, 2417. Unexplained simulacrum error occurs. No input from O5-4 detected. Hourly global amnestization of simulacrum population approved by O5-4. Operation ensues. Update, February 9th, 2418. Unexplained simulacrum error occurs. By hourly global amnestization of simulacrum population approved by O5-4, but later deemed to no longer be a viable strategy. O5-4 attempts to leave Site 119. Automatic response drones react accordingly. Operation ensues. Update, January 6, 2419. Unexplained simulacrum error occurs. Outside stimula errors deemed as part of baseline reality. All reports of users suffering inexplicable insect bites are archived and promptly ignored. Operation ensues. Update, May 23rd, 2419. Foundation resources deemed insufficient to combat any further approaching errors. Due to the Earth's conversion into Site-119, global undoing of contingency 0213A3 is deemed impossible. All ongoing feelings of live consumption by insects and or growing of plants inside bodies added to the definition of baseline reality. Operation ensues. Update, August 14th, 2420. Per unanimous decision of the O5 Council inside Simulacrum, contingency 0213A3 is expanded to include O5-4 as its permanent pilot. 63% of Simulacrum systems experience spontaneous critical shutdown. Further entry into the simulation is deactivated. Update, September 14th, 2421. 
Automated Site 119 monitoring systems are manually deactivated by 05 4 moments before he is seen sobbing inside of Primary Simulacrum Command. Further updates to this file are locked. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Tannis Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.